Where should we go? What's up? Hmm. We finally managed to leave Gerudo Town and set off on our search for Vo. We wanted to put our Vo and new lessons to the test. Pasha. Ah, were they the students from the first game? But none of the Vo we've met have measured up. Oh. Dina? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Before I left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the outside world. They call him a hero. Hmm. Ah. A hero, huh? I bet he is a strong Vol who's taller than us even. Reason. But I guess there were four. Maybe there were more. But I think it was at least four there. Maybe the other one didn't uh, graduate. Uh, okay, I'm going to take him out. <gasps> <laughs> you mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover how to be one to be the one to make the first move. Anyway, I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero, but how would we even recognize him? Ooh. Oh, the legendary sword. Now I remember. The hero is carrying the legendary sword. Okay, I gotta remember to get back here once I get the sword. And this is where the the one waiting for the hero was in the previous game. Okay, the legendary sword. Wait, what is the legendary sword anyway? If it's good enough to be called legendary, then it's prob probably glows or something. <laughs> oh, maybe it's really tall, taller than us, even if we are standing on each other's shoulders. Mm. Uh, this sounds like real pain. I'd be, it'd be easier to just launch a surprise attack. If we were really careful, we could easily sneak up on the target. Risa, you have to stop referring to Vo as targets. Okay, they didn't even notice me, so maybe they won't notice if I'm carrying the sword. Where is he? Ah! Hey there, Traveler. Welcome to Outskirts Table. The stable strutters are here right now, so do yourself a favor and listen to them perform. But the Floss Piper is in here. Oh, I thought they would ask for Piper once they got there. Well, it's to it. To him. I wonder what happened to him. Piper. Oh. He's a precocious young flautist. When I heard the sweet sound of his flute, I felt transported. All my worries melted away. Piper was the best part of the band, if you ask me. Without mm. him, the stable trotters just aren't complete. You know, he and my little sister hate our clothes. Uh, maybe he followed her to Highland Stable. Mm. Then again, that stable is a good distance away. On the southern edge of Hyrule, so probably not. Uh. Listen to me, I think about this stuff so much I can hardly focus on work. Uh, let's talk to the rest of the people first, and then we'll... Let me work with horses. If you're looking for a guide, I'm... Are the rumors true? Yeah. I'm glad to see you made it to Oscar Stable. <laughs> These horses are quite the charmers, huh? They used to be stable southwest of here in Gerudo Canyon. Hmm. But when the weather changed again, after the upheaval, it took the stable by surprise. The horses couldn't handle the extreme temperatures, so it took them in. Oh. Say, have you heard any rumors about skeletal horses? Huh. If you take the road north, there is a place called the Sanitin Park Ruins. Folks say they appear there night after night. They 
Are they spirits of dead horses in the game move on? Or cursed horses born in the upheaval? Or... Ah, I'm sorry, I lose my head as soon as the conversation turns to horses. Well, expect it's just a rumor, but if it were true, I'd sure like to meet one. The horses guards... Horse guards request. Okay, but is the stable there empty then? Look yourself at home. Hi. Hello and welcome. We'll head on into the stable and get out of the rain. That's just common sense. This is Oscar Stable, home to the Great Fair Kaiser. Uh, if you have a question about horses, you can ask at the counter out front. Or you can use the counter inside if you want to stay the horse. Great Fairy? Oh. The Great Fairy grants travelers a blessing that gives them strong protection. Well, that's what folks say at least. <laughs> uh, did you come to see the Great Fairy Kaiser? Unfortunately, she sealed herself away after the upheaval. She hasn't come out since. Before that, she used to make an appearance from time to time. She's a big fan of music, you know? Especially flutes. Uh, when the floats Piper who came by, uh, she would poke her face out of her fountain. It's been a long time though. She sure loved the music group they used to pass through. I wish they would come by and play for her again. Ah, uh, my apologies. I was just thinking aloud. Please make yourself comfortable. Okay, my point. Hi. Thanks for coming, such good weather. Welcome to Sunscreen <laughs> Stable. Thanks for supporting us. First time here, one point. And on them once again. Ah. Welcome, Link. We're going to horse. Yeah. Ah. I was thinking, have you already seen the Sunlight Ruins at Dig Dog Bridge? You can get there by heading west down this road and to a three way intersection that turns south. I heard that the Sunlight Ruins that showed up there. And the biggest in the world. Oh. Well, I thought it sounded interesting. If you haven't seen them yet, you should take a look. What do you have yeah. here? Sa -sa. <laughs> oh. That's nice. Oh. Uh, what's the Lucky Clo Clover Gazette covering this edition? What's the news? Ah. And there's an update on the Mysterious Woman Six specific help near Oscar's table start from earlier. Okay, so I lost that. The mysterious eight seeking woman was actually a member of the Iga clan, attempting to trap the swordsman Link. Uh, the more I read about the Iga clan, the dumber they seem. Do any of their plans ever work out? And of all people, do you really think they could trick someone like Prin Zelda Princess Princess Zelda's faithful swordsman Link? Uh, let's read other stories. Oh. This resort was restored and ready for you. The Rune Village has returned to its former beauty, with locals crediting one man as the savior behind its comeback story. <laughs> Wait, weren't the pirates defeated just a little while ago? How could it be fully re restored so quickly? Did this, did this same young man really defeat the pirates and rebuild the resort? That's amazing. Uh, Learn village is a bit remote, way down on the southeast coast, but I hear they have all kinds of great things to do there. Mm. Ah. I think I just hear a little bit of the first awards, look like Clover Gazette, and what a wonder. If they're understaffed, maybe I should consider becoming a journalist. What's up now? To think that woman from earlier was with the Iga clan, just imagine what would have happened if I'd gone with her. Oh. Now that I know the truth, I won't be e deceived so easily again. I'm reassured enough to keep investigating the Sky Islands. Thank you. Well, hey there, how go your travels? Mm. Every traveler has to contain with monster attacks now and again, but I hear the visiting the Great Fairy might really help with that. Ah. The word is that the Great Fairy can use her power to make clothes tough as any set of armor. 
People say there's a great ferry up the hill to the side of the outskirts stable nearby. I wonder if she'll help me. Aww. Right now the great ferry is locked up in her floor, but it won't come out. Frustrating, isn't it? One more thing to blame on the upheaval. Let's stop it from you now. I don't have any way to transport. So, welcome. Glad to greet a customer anytime and anywhere. Uh, traveling merchants like me, the ones pulling wagons. Uh, when it's raining, we don't get to take the day off. You know why? Because people need us. They need us to bring them elixirs, ingredients, other stuff. Especially now that the upheavals made it harder to walk to shops. Uh, we're basically the glue holding this cracked up world together. I think this world is doing much better than with the calamity at the moment. Ooh. Well, enough of that. We want to see what I'm selling. Uh, fairly proud of what I got stuck. Uh, no. Nothing else? No. Mm. Five a.m. Maybe the horses would have vanished by now. The white horse had spawned here. These pigeons inhabit vast regions over how harrows, so they can often be found in forests, grasslands, or even villages. They don't have a very strong sense of awareness, so even less skilled hunters can nap them pretty easily. Yeah, I think it's daytime by now. Yeah, 6 a.m. now. Okay, I need some shelter to make. A bonfire. Oh. <laughs> no, damn it, you nobu. Poor guy. Oh. We will be able to keep this one. The other one I found was in the depth, so I couldn't even try to bring to a uh, stable. A real skeletal horse. Is that the skeletal horse? I can't believe it really exists. 
Hey precious, if you're lonely on your own, would you like to stay with me? Uh, are you so... Ah, I see. You already have plenty of friends. Thank you, traveler. I can scarcely believe my own eyes. You know, if I thought this beauty was alone in the world, I try to take care of it myself. But it seems like it has friends somewhere deep and dark. So I'm not worried. <laughs> No, take this. It's the least I can do. Hmm, so I won't be able to keep it. Oh, one more thing. Uh, here's one pony point for your trouble. Good. Mm, save up those pony points, you get all kinds of prize. With that, I now have seen everything. Uh, have you ever tamed any other animals? Ones that aren't horses? Uh... When I was young, I tried to tame forest animals like bears and deers, but I was thrown off, same flying in fact. I wonder if it's possible to tame anything besides horses. Is there anything new I can tame? Not tame, but ride? Uh, well, I'll, I'll try to remember to bring it to him. Wouldn't it be amazing if someone rode up on a creature other than a horse? Then I really had... I have really seen everything. I think I brought Satori for him to see in the previous game, but I don't think he cared. Can people get scared? Oh. See what I'm about after Sun. Uh. Uh, welcome, do you want to register a horse? Can help? Uh, ah, I don't even have the option. I, I had the option in the previous game. You just... You will complain that it's a monster, you'll probably eat the horses, but... Hmm. It's a reward. Let me ride with you. Ah. I should get a point points reward. Mm -hmm. Reward 10 points, can I resist an additional horse? Uh, there's a wild horse that catches your fancy, please bring it to us. Save up just for ah. points. Be able to resist an additional horse. Appreciate the patronage. Uh, it would be hard to take them up there. Oh, the nerve of you coming here. Please go away. You're just a monster who's after my blessing of clothing enhancement. Uh, the world outside my butt is filled with gloom and full of monsters. Don't treasure the night. I know it's true. My older sister Terra told me. Even the music... I loved I love is gone and until I hear the sound of a flute out in the world, I'll never go outside again. I moved near the stable to grant my blessings to travelers. If I heard the sound of a flute played by a musician in a troupe, I feel cheered up enough to come out and face the world. Alright. Ah, I know that face, yes, that's a face I know. Traveler, have you come to meet with another great fairy? Great fairy? No? Am I wrong? Uh, you're not here to meet with the great fairy Kaiser. Perhaps you came here to visit Oscar's stable. No. I'm sorry to say, the great fairy here has also withdrawn into her flower bud and hasn't come out in a while. She must be scared to appear, just like what happened at Woodland Stable. Uh, this great fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troupe. She loved the sweet notes of his flute, so I'm sure the sound of his flute will cheer her up now, but I'm afraid Piper isn't with us right now. Oh, Piper's a young flautist with uh, the stable trotters. But one day he took his leave from the troop, and we haven't seen him since. A traveler from Pharaoh to the southeast said they heard the sound of a flute at uh, Highland Stable. But. Mm. Great fair here is also hiding in Flower Bud, too afraid to come out. If only Piper were here, we could go and perform for her. Oh. Couldn't resist my beats, huh? Don't feel bad, no one can. I'm having a drumming showdown with the moon to see which of us shines brighter. Mm. You feel it? 
The beat that energizes you when you're moving around, pushing your body to the limits, or has all the travel got you down. Uh, the first bar of music will blow the exhaustion away. Mm. But we're not in our normal groove. Uh, our tempo is out of whack when we don't have the full group. Where are the others? Mm. Got an idea about Little Piper. He went southeast to Pharaoh, saying something about music in the subtropics. I get the feeling he might have been kind of confused. Ah. We'll get by. We might not have the full crew, but my beats will keep us going when we're feeling down. Okay, let's get Piper. Paper flies. Do you have some fireflies with you? I'm sure I see a glow coming from your pouch. Need 10 more of those sunset fireflies to make the glowing tree. I have fireflies for you. Ooh. Ah, really? You have them? With your fireflies and some of my vaults collected, I can attract even more fireflies and then I can make the glowiest glow of glowing trees. Mm, while you're helping, can you do me one more favor? Oh. This will only work when the fireflies are glowing, so I like you to bring Haiti to this spot while it's still dark. If you don't have time, bring her on a different night instead. <laughs> oh, and I want it to be a big surprise. You'll give it away if you say I'm working on this. Okay, so see you both later. Okay, but isn't she sleeping at night? Oh, good evening. Piper is in back, even though it's night. Honestly, where did he go? Hi, follow me, please. That's not shady at all. Uh, alright. <laughs> What's this all about? Where are we going? Don't mind me. Oh, where are there? Here, ah, Wow, it's so much prettier than the one I once saw in the book. It's just like I see it in my dreams. <laughs> Thank you. I saw the best glowing tree ever. <laughs> I feel really happy. <laughs> happy, did you hear that? Yeah, finally happy. What a relief. I knew there was a bright smile in there somewhere. Good for Haiti. But it's going to take more than that to keep her smiling. I need to do what I can to make sure that happens. I figured it out. I'm going back to the stable trotters. I'll get better and better at playing my flute. Uh, more fun, more amazing. Because if the crowds love music, they hate will too. And she'll always smile when she hears it. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. You helped me with all sorts of stuff, so you can have this for if you want. Huh. I'm heading out soon. If we meet again somewhere, my music's gonna make you green from ear to ear. Oh, hello again. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for all your help earlier. 
I was just thinking, I didn't tell you about how I met Piper, did I? Piper reached out when I first showed up looking for work. He knows it can be lonely being ill. He's so good at the flutes and he tells lots of wonderful stories. Sometimes I have to tell him to lay off the prince though, I mean really. But I guess most of his jokes are pretty funny and I never felt lonely. Uh, I love working here, everyone's so nice. And that's why I can keep on smiling. I know I can. Probably. No, it's there in still. I too, look, I mean, listen to this. Piper's here. Our flautist Piper has made his triumphant return. Uh, who, who knew how smitten Piper really was? Uh, not I. Affairs of the heart are something I've yet to experience firsthand. Well, anyway, uh, the return of Piper's delightful flute has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music. But I better save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you, traveler. I'm here to. I'm here out of concern for the Great Fairy. Great Fairy. No, am I wrong? You're not here to meet the Great Fairy, guys. Perhaps you came to this. They're saying the same thing as before. Aren't you supposed to ask me to take you guys there? Uh, Return for the bus, scared from appears, who is unstable, very enjoying her Piper playing flute, she loves it, she knows his flute. Sure, the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but. Hmm. The road has been blocked by some rocks that tumble out of the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it, and we didn't make it about halfway. But the rubble's just too much trouble, no horse can get past it. And our little jaunt took its toll, alas. <laughs> Poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our troop has broken down yet again. Our Breezer has yet has seen us through thick and thin. Without it, our hearts won't be in our performance. <laughs> I think, I'm thankful Piper has returned. But I'm also worried about the great fairy that I just can't lead the players with my usual flair. Yeah, it's just that I think it would be easier to drive from here. And you can just when the Witch Perry Pyro is turning and I'm sure she will enjoy his performance getting ahead of it. I've been waiting for those very words. Everyone, get on board before he changes his mind. Okay, that works. Uh, it's turning weird. Okay, maybe this won't really work like that. Hmm, when well, it's just the wheels they turn fine, but I guess the the axis of the wagon is getting the way. Come on. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, now it works better. Fairy, we're here. Now prepare for the performance of a lifetime. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> look, Piper, look, she's awakened. Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny. Thank you again. I have a reward for you. Uh, it's too much for these pockets to handle. No need to be humble, you deserve this. That's better. Now I can concentrate on our performance. The captivating Kaisa is now at peace. But she wasn't the last word fairy still shut away in her flower bud. Yeah, yeah. That's why the show must go on to the next great fairy's hiding place. Thank you once again, traveler. Mm. Mm. You're the one who brought the musical troupe to me, aren't you? Don't be shy, I could tell it was you, even while I was hiding. So why do you call me a monster? Perhaps your reward should be me joining you as a co-adventurer, huh? <laughs> huh? I'm only teasing you, but you get even cuter when you're blushing. Uh. I really can't thank you enough, the young man, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I will gladly help you. Uh, so why don't you let me take a peek in the little pouch of yours? Mm. The part with me I can greatly enhance your clothing. Haste away. Okay, uh. Uh, I won't waste too much time here. Let's just enhance what I'm mm. actually using. His eyes don't even close when with that mask. Okay, Great Fair has increased his defense by three levels. Uh. Like them strong. <laughs> Have you got any clothes? Okay, I think we're done here. Oh, no, 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 there's one more thing. Just that there's usually something interesting. Hey, sugar Oh, the noble source may scrunch for scraps. You fell for all this trick in the book. Your life ends today. No horse, get out of it. Okay, the horse is alive.
Picture of you guys. Oh, the one in the old. Uh, Captain Construct 4, an elite soldier construct, hence its captain title. Made by the Zona E with advanced techniques and magic, staying above all of its peers as signified by its golden body. In endurance and sheer combat ability. It exceeds all other Captain Constructs, making it the mightiest of all. Captain Construct 4 Horn. I'm pretty sure I got some weapons with that already. A mean looking branching blade like horn. Its edges and tips are extremely sharp, attach your weapon to vastly increase stack power. No! Damn it. Portable pot. I guess this table won't be there anymore. Can use this place. Ah, oh, you're the guy that wanted uh, mini table. The guy that wanted mushrooms. Girl, <laughs> hey buddy, if you're going to go to the canyon over the suspension bridge, you better be careful. You also have a stable in the canyon. Whatever sense of evil, since the weather all screwy, horses hate the place. No horses meant, no travelers meant, no business for my stable. It was I was ruined. I had no choice but to relocate and open a mini stable over here. But boy, do I miss the old spot. Still, got both your ears, eh, or did I talk one of them off? Anyway, let me know your name so I can confirm that you are a stable member. Oh. My name is Link, say. You're on the stable member list here. I'll give you one point to commemorate your first visit to my humble stable. What brings you here? Take horse, mean stable. I'm running this mean stable all on my lonesome, so I can't offer as many services as a regular stable can. But I'm happy to help you register board or take out a horse. Sorry, I can't give you any pony point rewards here. You have to do it at a proper stable. And he has need. Goodbye. The inn there's closed now, uh, but if you're gonna stop at the Girl the Canyon stable, remember to be careful. Ah, the building is still there. Mm. The Abihivos turned the road leading to it into a river. 
getting there should be a rust journey journey so is it now the gerudo valley actually this area here i think will be the gerudo valley from ocarina but uh, what about all that fascinating oh good day oh uh, might be a traveler I'm camping here so I can investigate the giant ruins that fell at the entrance to Gerald Canyon, just up ahead. Giant ruins? Uh -huh. Rubble and ruins have been falling all over since the upheaval, but the ruins at the border are particularly immense. Uh, we set up this camp so we can carry out a full investigation of the site. This area has a very harsh environment, but we make interesting discoveries every day, so it's worth it. Ooh. If you like the unique ruins up ahead, you might also be interested in visiting Kakariko village out to the east. The various ruins there are fascinating and definitely worth your time. Anything else? Gerald Canyon. Oh. Gerald Canyon is a huge canyon to the south. It leads to the Gerald Desert where you find Gerald Town. Oh. However, lately the days in Gerald Canyon have been blisteringly hot and the nights have been absolutely freezing. You'll collapse before long if you aren't prepared to deal with the extreme weather. But that was how the desert was. For example, I've been maintaining a careful diet to help me deal with these extreme temperatures. Ooh. If you want to know more, chat with the girl at the tent over there. She should be able to answer any questions you have. Oh. She keep an eye out for other investigators or travelers. If you're going to pass through Girl Canyon, you may find others with useful information to share. Uh, what should I make everyone for dinner? Uh, they all look forward to the meal, so I can't disappoint them. Mm. Oh, I haven't seen you before. I don't think... Are you here because you heard about me? <laughs> well, it's all true. I'm the one in charge of keeping the members of the researching team healthy and happy. And I figured out the secret to keeping them energized. Want to know what it is? Absolutely. Oh. Huh, of course you do. And I'll tell you. It's all about what they eat. Uh, when it's hot outside, you should cook up meals using shrooms. When it's cold, substitute sun shrooms instead. Uh, it's amazing how well the body can hold up to high or low temperatures if you are used to the right ingredients. Uh, well, wanted to try it for yourself? I'm sure you do. Feel free to choose the spot. Now I'm going to have clothes. Everyone who? There's only you two here? Oh, I thought that was another one. Hmm. Hmm, that looks like a door. <laughs> you know what? Um, I never really used them, so... This probably won't go bad. Chili meat and sensual skewer. Spicy pepper steak. Spicy more fruit. I don't think I tried to cook with those fruits. Oh, you weren't here. Evening. Are you headed to Gerudo Canyon too? And just note that after you cross the bridge, the guard up ahead is gonna give you a test. Test? Ah. That's right. Three questions. Uh, all the questions are about how to do with hot and cold weather. Uh, no matter how many times I try, I can't seem to pass. Like, did you know that caves stay the same cool temperature all day and all night? Me neither. I just learned that, which doesn't bode well for the test. Okay, I'll have to check up afterwards. But this guy wasn't here. He loaded after I passed. Huh. 
Is this some kind of device? Hi. Right here. Good day. Uh, what an unusual relic. And look, there's something inside. I believe this device is made for some special purpose, but as for what that may be, who knows? Oh. Similar devices have been found in Kakariko village to the east and Terry town to the northeast. I want to unlock the gizmos secrets before the researchers in those other places do. I must. Sorry, I figured it out already. For them. You did it. You got it to work. How did you... Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out. So, if you put something on the dish, it gets sucked in. Oh, there's a cave there. I could just get around, right? I thought we were Kalip for a moment. Jeez. Uh, hey. Oh. Sorry if you seem disappointed. I just thought our friends might have returned, so more people lost in the canyon. Ninia and I lost sight of the three of our friends on the road to Gerudo, in Gerudo Canyon. We had agreed to meet here if we got separated, but there's still no sign of them. The longer they're gone, the more worried I get. What if they're lost or hurt? Ah. Uh, they're experienced travelers. I'm sure they'll be fine. They probably stopped to rest in a cave or s under some shade along the road, since the canyon gets so hot during the day. If I make a shade, it, w it works. And if I just walk around holding a plate on top of my head, that works. Not to say they'll travel faster at night. They get so cold, they might have to start a fire to keep from freezing. But they'll be back in no time, we just have to be patient. Oh. I hope you're right. Disaster in Gerudo Canyon. Mm. It's getting cold. Oh. Good evening. It's dark out, so mind where you're walking. Oh. Are you here to help us with our investigation of the ruins? Thanks to the extreme temperatures around here, we are only able to work a little bit at a time. The nights are so cold that without a fire, you freeze solid. And the days is just so, so hot. <laughs> really, the only thing to look forward is to Feline's cook. Mm. Uh, her meals fill me up with enough energy to forget about the temperature. It must be some kind of secret recipe. Oh. 